Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the bi weekly contest 42 average wait time. So, this one, um, so most of the uh, time I spent on this problem was basically making sure the constraints are what I thought it was. Uh, if not, I would have put it in the correct, quote unquote, correct order, which makes it a sorting problem. Um, but it's a little bit weird be only because they give it to you in the exact order that you, you need it. And it's uh, here. And it is a non-decreasing order. So basically, you can do it with a for loop um, with an average waiting time. So then the idea here is just, well, it actually is just simulate exactly what you get, right? Which is that, okay, you, you're given a time that um, it arrives and also add the time that it takes the cook to serve and... And that's pretty much it. And then you have you make sure that you know if uh, a person came in later, then they st their start time is later, right? So basically, my my code is very short, and you could have probably uh, wrote less if you want to. But I, you know, like I said during the contest, I'm trying to optimize for time. It took me about two minutes, and I was some of that was just me not sure because I was like this feels a little bit too easy but eh, you know sometimes better lucky than good uh, so T is a terrible railroad name but that's just the, the time of the last um, the last completed order so that you know you can either move forward in time or that's your constraint of when you uh, arrive and then total is just the total amount of wait time for everybody and then the average is just over that uh, here is just you know the the now this is the the new time. So basically, this is the delta between um, when the customer arrives and when it is first getting cooked. And then this is just the cooking time. And then we we set the next completed order to that new cook, or we add it to the co we add cooking time to it. So this is obviously lin linear time and constant space because we only use extra variables. Um, yeah, I. I'm just trying to, trying to refresh to kind of see what the total accepted is. Uh, we're about half an hour into the contest and about 1,500 people solved it out of like 6,000 people. So a lot of people have solved this. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why it was a little bit weird. Uh, but yeah, a lot of uh, what I spent was just making sure about constraints. And once you realize that, then it should be okay. I think a more slightly more interesting but still the same problem is that if, if they're given a non uh, non not, uh, they're not given to you in order and you have to sort it in some way, then it becomes a sorting problem, which is slightly more interesting, but still probably a little bit on the easy side. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. That's all I have for this problem. Uh, you can watch me solve it during the contest live uh, next. And remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, and join me on Discord. Ask me questions. I always enjoy that. And I was, yeah, and you can watch me solve it next. Silly mistake. Okay. Wait time, okay. This is a silly palm, so it should be okay.
Hmm, that's not right. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and join me in Discord. Ask me questions. I love questions. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you next problem. Bye-bye.